Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do some stamping over this manicure that I've already been wearing for a day or so. This is a lovely new hollow I just got, and it's called, it's from Different Dimensions, and this one is called Pink Beach, and it's just a very light, pretty hollow. I just uh, have nothing, no, no more words, but I started off with Neltique's Formula 2, and then I did two coats of this beautiful polish and then I topped it with posh top coat and I have worn it for a couple of days but now I'm ready to play with it and look it still looks really good no tip wear no, no nothing funky going on loving it so today I'm going to stamp using this bundle monster plate and it's BM 503 and it's just got a bunch of starfish and sea life looking stuff on it and I will be using my Maybelline color show in the shade Bold Gold. It is one of my favorite non-stamping polishes that I use for stamping. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. And I will be using my Bundle Monster Scraper and my Monocle Stamper, the real one. Because I'm not really crazy about the one from Wish. So let's just get on into it. Not a very good scrape. Let's try this again. And that one looks okay. We'll put it on the pinky. There we go. It's kind of digging it. Okay, I had to trade scrapers. I wasn't liking that one for this plate. Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes it's the plate, it's the scraper, the polish. You just keep playing with it. And these are the little skinny starfish. I'm going to put them on my ring finger. And they're so pretty, I might put them on my middle finger too. Yeah, I think I'm going to put these on my middle finger also. I'm trying to scoot along here and get these all prettied up. They were already pretty, but I had to add something to them. There we go. And now back to the other image for my pointer finger. It's a much better scrape. this on the thumb also. But this is a really cute plate. I love the little turtle on it. I have to remember that he's there so I can, or it's there so I can use that one. And there we go. I'll be right back. We're going to do a little bit of cleanup and talk. I'm back and we're going to do just a tiny, tiny bit of cleanup with the tape and my cleanup brush real quick. But there wasn't very much to clean up, and that bold gold did come off with the tape really well. It's just out of kind of habit, I have to go through all of the steps, whether I need them or not. So, there we go. That is done. Let us, let us carry on. And I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to top this one off with some posh top coat. And this one's very delicate, very, very um, light. The gold doesn't just scream out at you, but it's there. And it's not invisible. I can totally see it. I'm hoping you'll be able to see it really well in my swatch photo. But I really do like these soft manicures. Now, I like a bold, in-your-face, crazy, neon, wild-looking look manicure, too, but... Sometimes I like to have something that's, you know, a little, little more toned down, a little more easy on the eyes. Kind of a little bit of something for everybody here on this channel. But there we go. Let's see if I can get these lights to play nice and not be so in your face. But there we go. There we go. Much better. 
loving the little starfish. So that is all I have for you today. I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I already know what one person is going to say, so I'll be looking forward to that. That is all I have for you today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.